Okay, greetings. Thank you for watching. We're mixing it up this week with this Mutator Monday. I could have put chess out, but it's pretty much any abstract strategy game I could have gone go. But I figured for giggles, I'd put out checkers. Anyhow, what we're looking at here is a mutator involving time control. When chess, apparently chess, the tweaking the clock seems to be a way it addresses all its issues way back when. And I could have shown chess here, but we can apply it to checkers or anything. A uh, century ago, whatever else, over a century ago, when chess wanted to do things, they introduced the chess clock. Now what they've done is they've gotten the speed. So what you're doing when you're doing a mutator of adding time control is you end up adjusting how the time works. And there's several ways they have here, including the Fisher variant, Bobby Fisher proposed. One way is your standard, you have so much time for the entire game and it ticks down. That's what this clock's symbolic here. It's not a chess clock, it's a standard clock. But apparently I can't do anything else. But there might be some way to adjust it, but anyhow. I can do a stopwatch, so I can do a timer. I can do a timer also. And then hit pause and I could pause it and hit it again. So anyhow. You stop the clock and then you start the other side there. So what you do here is that you're given so much time. And you're given so much time for the match. That's one way to do it. The other one, I believe it was a Fisher version. What you do is that you have so much time you're given in per turn. And it can get added to your clock that way. The other one is to have a timer where you have so many seconds between turns to make a move. And then what Chess is doing now is they make a clock, reduce amount of clock totally per match. So... By playing around with time control and how you do it per turn or whatever else, you can actually change the way the game works. Not from a structural standpoint, not fundamentally different, but just change the approach players had. So that's one way. For televising, for example, I would actually end up playing... Uh, here's another proposal I have for it. What you do here is that let's say you give the, each player five minutes per side and as you're winding down the clock starts ticking down on the person there and as you're going up it's going up for the other side there and you could have a tug of war with the clock maybe two minutes per side and if you save your moves you start causing pressure on your opponent you can gain it you could also have it another thing too is that if they go over their time limit per turn you start giving your other person the opponent I'm on a clock anyhow I'm rambling here but you can apply this concept of the time control reduction of time and adjusting how time scored to actually adjust to how the game works not major and this is really not that innovative or anything else but it's discussed here just to get some completeness in this series so okay that's it I do want to yes you could play checkers with a chess clock so okay that's it I do want to thank you for watching and may your die always roll five